What's up, y'all? I say it. What's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This is your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out, y'all. Before I get going on our video, smash that like button for me. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. Follow me on Twitter at KOBoxing86 TV. And if you got a breakdown or a prediction video you want me to do, knockoutboxing86 at yahoo.com is the email address. Um, and don't forget about our live show. We go live every single Wednesday night, 7.30 p.m. Central Time, 5.30 on the West Coast, 8.30 on the East Coast. I also go live on Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time um, with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. So y'all be sure to check those live shows out, man. But let's get to this one. Breakdown and prediction video, heavyweight division, 12-round fight, Joseph Parker versus Derek Chisora, man. Um, it's a rematch. This is their second fight, man. They fought before. It's a close split decision victory for Joseph Parker. Some felt like he lost. Some felt like he won. Um, I feel like it was a close enough fight. Could have went 7-5 either way um, with some swing rounds here and there. So I'm not mad at the decision. I'm also not mad at them running it back because I don't feel like Parker won clear enough. I don't think he won clear enough to where he just get to move on to the next. So salute to, to him for giving Derek Chisora his rematch. Now let's break down the tail of the tape. Joseph Parker, 29 years old, orthodox fighter fighting out of New Zealand. Six foot four with a 76 inch reach. 29 wins, only two losses with 21 wins coming by way of knockout. And his two losses, man, he lost to some heavy hitters in the heavyweight division. His only loss was to Dillian White and Anthony Joshua. And he went the distance with him, so he showed to be a durable um, heavyweight. Then you got Derek Chisora, 37 years old, orthodox fighter, fighting out of the UK by way of Zimbabwe, um, six foot one with 74 inch reach, 32 wins, 11 losses with 23 of his victories coming by way of knockout. And he's been knocked out himself three times. Um... Fighting styles. I, I did the first breakdown in prediction because this fight was earlier this year. And I think the same thing holds true. So if you watch that one, this, this one's going to sound very similar to it. Chisora is the aggressive fighter. He's going to be going forward. He's going to be the one trying to, trying to really, really bring it to Joseph Parker. Because he doesn't have the boxing skills and the physical attributes that Parker has. Parker's going to be longer. He's going to be... Uh, younger, he's gonna be more fluid with his combinations, more fluid of a boxer. So it's gonna behoove Derek Chisora to try to push him back, get him to the ropes, make it a dog fight, make it ugly, and that falls right into Chisora's hands. Guys have a hard time looking good against Chisora because he's just full throttle, always aggressive, always pushing you back, and it's hard to look your best against him. Um, he is easy to hit, um, and he, but he's one of those fighters that's tough. And you see the eleven losses, and you think journeyman, but he been in there with everybody, bro. You name you name him, he done fought him. I'm a, I'm gonna run down a little cause he done fought so many people, bro. Derek Chisora done fought so many people, dog. Like, I mean, you literally can name a top heavyweight and he probably done fought him, bro. Like he done fought Joseph Parker. He fought Alexander Usyk. He fought David Price. He fought Arthur Spilker. He fought Dillian White. He fought Carlos Tacom. He fought um not only did he fight Dillian White, he fought him twice, bro. He fought Dillian White twice. He fought Kubrat Pulev, bro. Who else we got? He fought Tyson Fury. I mean, the man, he fought David Haight. He fought Vitaly Klitschko, bro. He fought Robert Hellenius. Matter of fact, not only did he fight Tyson Fury, he fought Tyson Fury twice, bro. Okay? The man has fought everybody and fought some of them multiple times, bro. So, he got 11 losses, but he been in there with the best. And to fight the fighters that I just named, they only been knocked out three times. You see three knockouts, but he durable, bro. You got to really catch him with something and hurt him and put him, put him down, bro. For Joseph Parker, listen, man, he got the boxing skill. It's like he, he talented, right? You can see the talent. He moves very good for a heavyweight. Has very good hand speed for a heavyweight. Puts combinations together both to the body and to the head good for a heavyweight. But it just seems to be something up here with him, bro. Not something right here, because he, he's durable, and he don't just fold, but something up here, like, in his last fight with Derek Chisora, right, you could see, 
that he would have moments to where he'd be very successful. But then there would be moments where just because Derek Chisora was walking towards him, he would fight on his back foot. And I would like to see him kind of sit down and exchange a little bit more. Push Chisora back because if you park it, you can fight going forward or backward. But Chisora can only fight one way. So why not try to see if you can push him back? You big, you strong, you powerful. i like to see him stand his ground a little bit more in this next fight. Make it a little bit easier. I think he got himself tired. I think that he didn't look as good in some rounds because he immediately let Chisora take the role of aggressor. He immediately just let Chisora just be aggressive, and he just started fighting off his back foot. And one of the scoring criteria is what? Effective aggression. You got to show the judges that this dude just ain't pushing you all around the ring. And there were rounds where Parker was on his back foot entirely too much. Now, he has a nice check left hook, nice one-two with the right hand, as I said. Pretty good hand speed, throws, throws combinations up top and down low. But I need him to keep them feet planted a little bit more in this fight if he's going to come away with this victory, man. Um, so in a rematch, um, past the victory, Chisora, he got, again, he's 37. He almost 40, bro. And heavyweights typically can last longer because it's less about movement and and, and how um, and how many punches you throw and work rate and athleticism and more so about strength and physicality and guys are able to last longer because they punch hard and you can change a heavyweight fight with one punch. So Derek Chisora is 37. He's old. He's fought everyone. Um, he is an older fighter, as I said, but he his path is to, to really be aggressive the first part of the fight and try to get something in the first six rounds. And I said this on our first prediction. I think as the fight goes on, it's going to favor Parker's boxing skills. It's going to favor his age and his youth and how much more of a fluid athlete he is. Um, and, it, and, and, and just him being able to weather the storm, so to speak. Because I anticipate Chisora to come out like a bat out of hell, bro. I anticipate him to come very, very fast, very hard, very aggressive. If Parker can weather that storm, then I think Parker will take control of the fight late. Right? And so I'm going to pick Parker again in this fight to win again, but I think he wins more comfortably. There was a little bit of controversy in the last decision. I don't think we're going to see that in this fight. I think he he will clearly get the victory over Derek Chisora, and Joseph Parker said it best, and this is no shot to Derek Chisora, but all the top guys beat him, okay? And if you Joseph Parker and you want to be a top guy again, you want to be champion again, there's somebody you can beat. And he said it straight up. He said, if I can't beat, what did he say? I can quote it. I can quote it. Let me find it. Let me find it. If I can't beat Chisora, I have to really look at myself. Meaning, I got to reconsider some shit about this boxing shit. And he right, bro. Because you got to think about it. Unless you want to be a journeyman, unless you want to just be somebody that, that guys, you know, use as a stepping stone, if you're Joseph Parker, unless that's what you want to be, then you got to be able to beat somebody like Derek Chisora. And you need to do it much more comfortably and in a much more convincing fashion than you did the last time out. And I'm going to pick him to do that. I'm going to say he gets the unanimous decision by a wider margin. You had a split decision last time. What was the scorecards, bro? What was the scorecards? So last time, you had Chisora win on one card, 115 to 113. And then the other judges scored. One of them scored at 115 and 113 for Parker. The other one scored at 116 and 111 for Joseph Parker. I expect all three judges to score this at least 117 and 110 for Joseph Parker. That's my pick. I appreciate y'all watching the video. Enjoy the rest of your day. And with that, we out of here. Peace, y'all.